guys. We're going to play, I wouldn't say my least favorite tune, because I've already kind of covered that in a few of the other videos. It's definitely not one that's at the top of my list. It's a tune called the Kesh Jig. It's a bog standard session tune, and it's one that everybody ought to know. Uh, you just do. You just need to know it uh, if you're going to play Irish traditional music. The only reason I don't like it is not because there's anything wrong with the tune. It's a lovely tune. It's fine. But it tends to get beat up. It's one of those. But you do have to know it, and I haven't done a video on it. I've kind of been procrastinating it. But here we are. So we're going to take a crack at it. I'm going to play just the basic melody, and then we'll go back and, and uh, break down some of the ornaments and all that good stuff. That's the first part. Run that again, just so you get, so you make sure you get that. Second little section there in the A part is fairly similar, at least the beginning of it is. repetitive. Hopefully you can pick that up. It's, it is a good beginner tune. It's a beginner tune for a reason. Uh, hopefully it's one you can pick up quickly. So that's the A part. I'll play it all together just so you have it. All right, so that's the whole A part. B part, here we go. It's the first half of it. Second half here. Now, hopefully, if you've been following along, you'll know that some of those long notes, the dotted quarter notes in that tune, that's a good spot to throw in some rolls, which we're going to get to. We're going to go break down all the the, uh, the ornaments here. Uh, the basic melody is, again, from the A part. Right, so a lot of long notes. So what you can do... Just a couple of rolls. So, right off the bat, you got a couple of options there. All these little um, bounces that kind of go between E's and D's and G's and stuff in the higher octave. I usually just do cuts. Right? So a couple of those you can, you can drop in there. And that's pretty much it for the A part, because it's fairly repetitive. I do that kind of popping thing, which I've demonstrated a bunch. It's just kind of popping that top finger off. So, and then you go right back into the roll to, to turn around the A part. B part, uh, it does jump up to that high octave, that high B. So you got to kind of watch that, make sure you're not squawking those notes. But it starts on the, the lower B, and it starts with the roll and what I, how I would play it anyway. So right off the bat. Uh, you can just do a simple cut. Or you can do kind of a triplet. Either way, um, I tend to mix it up, play it a few different ways there. So uh, the, the ending part is, again, the one where it gets a little bit tricky because you do have that high B. you got to really make sure you get that, that, uh, that note in. I'm going to try not to blow everybody's eardrums out here. So... And there again, we're just dealing with some roll. The ending phrase then. So a roll on the G. You can do slides. Or you can do cuts. I like to try and mix it up so it's not always the same thing. Um, and again, because you're in that high octave, um, it's a little bit risky. So yeah, I just did it. Um, you can squawk those notes fairly easily, so you got to make sure you got good good breath control and you're able to hit those high notes fairly cleanly. Learn the tune. If you don't play it a whole lot, that's okay. Uh, if it comes up at the beginner sessions, 
by all means jump in, blast away. It's just one of those that you got to know. And um, hey, if you find a good use for it, if you find some cool way to play it, let me know. I'd love to hear it. Uh, but definitely check out that link to the Bothy Band. That's kind of the classic seminal recording of this thing. Um, and it's it's one of those times where you can hear a tune that gets beat up and hear how it's supposed to be played. And you go, oh, okay. Maybe I can learn something from that. Give that a listen. Matt Malloy's playing flute on it. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. Um, let me know what you think. See you guys in the next one. Cheers.